Hello, Brain Boosters community. Welcome to the second part of our dynamic series. Top 50 Simple Changes for a Healthier Lifestyle. We're thrilled to continue this journey with you towards improved health and wellness. In the first part, we explored foundational changes like the importance of hydration, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, regular exercise, sufficient sleep, stress reduction, and mindful eating. We also looked into the significance of regular health checkups, quitting smoking, cutting down on alcohol, and managing a healthy weight. Today, we're ready to dive into the next 30 remarkable lifestyle changes. From limiting processed foods, cooking at home, breaking up sedentary time, to practicing good posture, reducing screen time before bed, and including omega-3 fatty acids in your diet. You'll also discover the importance of mental health care, gut health, staying brain active, and how to listen to your body. And that's just a taste. We'll be covering a variety of topics designed to enhance your overall well-being. With each change being an essential piece of the puzzle for achieving a healthier lifestyle. Before we delve in, if you haven't already watched the first part of this series, we encourage you to do so. You can find the link in the description box below. Each part of this series is designed to build on the previous one, offering you a comprehensive approach to health improvement. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you find our content beneficial. And please consider sharing it with friends, family, or anyone else you feel may benefit from these simple yet powerful changes. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content geared towards boosting your health and well-being. Now, are you ready to dive deeper into the journey towards a healthier lifestyle? Let's dive into Top 50 Simple Changes for a Healthier Lifestyle, Part 2. Change 11, Limit Processed Foods, Harmful Effects of Processed Foods, How to Identify and Avoid Them, Healthier Alternative. Now, we move to our 11th simple change, which is limiting processed food. Processed foods include anything that has been altered in some way from its natural state for convenience, longevity, or taste. This includes foods like ready meals, snacks, fast foods, canned foods, and packaged baked goods. The problem with these foods is that they're often high in unhealthy fats, added sugars, and sodium, which can lead to health problems like obesity, heart disease, and high blood pressure. Moreover, they tend to be low in fiber and essential nutrients, which are crucial for our overall health. But how can you identify and avoid these processed foods? A good rule of thumb is to check the ingredients list. If you see a long list of ingredients you can't pronounce or if sugar, salt, or any type of oil is listed within the first few ingredients, it's likely highly processed. Remember, not all processed foods are bad. Foods like canned beans, frozen vegetables, and whole grain bread are technically processed, but they can still be part of a balanced diet. The key is to limit highly processed foods and opt for minimally processed ones. So, what are healthier alternatives? Aim to fill your plate with whole foods, like fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grain. Prepare your meals at home more often, so you have control over the ingredients. And when you do buy processed foods, choose those with shorter, cleaner ingredient list. Limiting processed foods can seem daunting at first, but it's a journey worth taking for your health. Now, let's continue to our next simple change for a healthier lifestyle. Change 12, Cook at Home More Often, Benefits of Home Cooking, Simple and Healthy Recipes, Meal Prep Tip. We've made it to change number 12, Cook at Home More Often. Now, it's no secret that home cooking tends to be healthier than eating out or ordering in. By cooking at home, you have control over what goes into your meals, which allows you to make healthier choices, reduce portion sizes, and avoid processed and fast foods. Plus, it's often cheaper than eating out, and it's a great way to enjoy time with your loved ones. To make the shift to home cooking, start by learning a few simple and healthy recipes. The internet is teeming with beginner-friendly recipes that require few ingredients and little time. Plus, with a vast array of cuisines available, you're sure to never get bored. Next, let's talk about meal prep, a time-saving strategy that involves planning and preparing meals or meal components in advance. By 
prepping your meals, you can ensure you have healthy options ready for busy weekdays, which can prevent you from reaching for unhealthy convenience food. Some quick meal prep tips include 1. Start with one meal at a time. If meal prepping feels overwhelming, start by prepping just your lunches or dinners. 2. Use multi-purpose ingredients. Choose ingredients that can be used in multiple dishes throughout the week. This will save you time and reduce food waste. 3. Invest in good storage containers. Having a variety of sizes and types of containers can help you portion out your meals and keep them fresh. Cooking at home and meal prepping are simple yet effective strategies for improving your diet and health. With a little practice, you can turn home cooking into a fun and rewarding habit. Now, let's move on to the next change for a healthier lifestyle. Change 13, take breaks from sitting, dangers of a sedentary lifestyle, tips for incorporating more movement throughout the day. And now we're at lucky number 13, take breaks from sitting. We live in a world that often encourages a sedentary lifestyle. Whether it's working at a desk job, binge watching TV shows, or scrolling through social media, many of us spend a significant portion of our days sitting. But what does this mean for our health? Research shows that prolonged sitting can lead to a number of health issues, including obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and even certain types of cancer. It can also lead to poor posture, back pain, and reduced muscle strength. The solution is simple, incorporate more movement throughout the day. Here are some tips on how to do this. 1. Set a reminder to stand up and move every 30 minutes. This could be a short walk around your home or office, or even just standing up and stretching. 2. Consider using a standing desk or an adjustable workstation. 3. Instead of sending an email, walk over to your colleague's desk for a chat. 4. Use your lunch break to go for a walk, or incorporate a workout routine into your day. 5. If you're watching TV, stand up and walk around during commercial break. 6. Consider walking or biking to work, or parking further away from your destination to add more steps to your day. Remember, every bit of movement counts. The goal isn't to run a marathon each day, but rather to break up long periods of sitting with movement. Now, let's move on to our next simple change for a healthier lifestyle. Change 14. Use stairs instead of elevators. The benefits of this simple change. Practical tips for implementing it. Welcome to change number 14. Use stairs instead of elevators. Seems simple, right? But let's delve a little deeper into why this small change can make a big difference. Firstly, climbing stairs is a great form of cardio exercise that strengthens your heart and lungs. It also engages several muscle groups, including your calves, thighs, and glutes, thereby improving your strength and endurance. Plus, it burns more calories per minute than jogging, which can help with weight management. Secondly, using the stairs is an easy way to sneak exercise into your daily routine especially on busy days when you can't squeeze in a workout. It's free, accessible, and can be done in any weather. So how can you make the switch from elevators to stairs? Here are some tips. 1. Start small. If you're new to exercise or have several flights to climb, it's okay to take the elevator part of the way and then use the stairs. Gradually increase the number of floors you climb as your fitness improves. 2. Make it a habit, try to make stair climbing a part of your daily routine. Use the stairs at work, at the shopping mall, or even at home. 3. Make it fun, listen to your favorite podcast or music while climbing the stairs to make it more enjoyable. 4. Stay safe. Remember to wear comfortable shoes and maintain good posture while climbing. Using stairs instead of elevators is an easy and effective way to improve your fitness and health. So the next time you see a staircase, give it a try. Now, let's step up to our next healthy lifestyle chain. Change 15, Daily Stretching importance of flexibility, simple stretches for the whole body, when and how to stretch. 
Welcome to change number 15, daily stretching. It might seem like a minor aspect of fitness, but it plays a significant role in our overall health and well-being. Let's discover why. Stretching improves flexibility, which is crucial for your body's overall function. It enhances your range of motion, improves posture, and reduces the risk of injuries. Furthermore, stretching can alleviate muscle stiffness and joint pain, making everyday activities easier. So, when should you stretch, and what are some simple stretches you can do? Ideally, you should stretch both before and after your workouts. Dynamic stretches, which involve moving parts of your body while gradually increasing reach, speed of movement, or both, are best before a workout. They help prepare your body for the physical activity to come. Static stretches, on the other hand, where you hold a stretch for 10 to 30 seconds, are beneficial post-workout to help cool down the body and improve flexibility. Here are a few simple whole body stretches you can include in your routine. 1. Neck stretch, tilt your head toward your shoulder and hold it there. Repeat on the other side. 2. Shoulder stretch, extend one arm across your body and gently pull it closer with your other arm. Repeat with the other arm. 3. Hamstring stretch, while seated, extend one leg out, reach towards your toes and hold. Switch and repeat on the other leg. 4. Quad stretch, while standing, pull one foot towards your buttock and hold. Repeat with the other foot. 5. Calf stretch, lean against a wall with one foot behind the other. Straighten your back leg and press your heel into the floor. 6. Chest stretch, clasp your hands behind your back, straighten your arms and lift your chest. Remember, while stretching, it's essential to focus on breathing, maintaining good form, and never stretching to the point of pain. Stretching should be gentle and calming. That's all for daily stretching, folks. Let's stretch our horizons and move to the next healthy change on our list. Team 16 Regular Detox, Natural Detox Methods, Benefits, Debunking Detox Myth. Moving on to change number 16, Regular Detox. The word detox can stir up quite a debate in health circles. So let's dive into what it really means, its benefits, and some natural methods to detoxify your body. Detoxification is a process where the body eliminates or neutralizes toxins. While our body has its own natural detoxification systems, mainly our liver, kidneys, and skin, certain habits can support these systems and improve our overall health. So, what are the benefits? A regular detox can help improve energy levels, support digestion, reduce inflammation, aid weight loss, and promote skin health. It's not about extreme diets or dubious detox products, it's about supporting your body's natural processes. Now, let's look at some natural and simple detox methods you can easily incorporate into your lifestyle. 1. Hydrate. Water is essential for flushing out toxins. Aim for 8 to 10 glasses a day. 2. Eat whole foods, avoid processed foods and focus on fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. 3. Reduce alcohol intake, excessive alcohol is hard in your liver. Reducing it supports your liver's detoxification process. 4. Sleep well, adequate sleep allows your body to heal and regenerate. 5. Exercise regularly, sweating during exercise can help remove toxins through your skin. 6. Limit exposure to pollutants, from air pollution to chemicals and beauty products, reducing exposure to toxins helps your body not to overwork. Here's a myth to debunk, the idea that you need extreme diets or products for detoxification. Starvation diets and detox teas aren't necessary and can be harmful. Your body is designed to detoxify itself, and the best thing you can do is support it with healthy habits. So there you have it, folks. Detoxification isn't about quick fixes, it's about long-term, sustainable habits. 
And now, let's detox from this topic and cleanse our minds for the next change on our list. Change 17. Regular Dental Checkups Importance of Oral Health What to Expect at Dental Checkups Proper Oral Hygiene Routine Welcome to Change 17 on our journey, Regular Dental Checkup. Dental health is not only crucial for a captivating smile, but also plays a significant role in your overall health. Oral health is intrinsically connected to your general health. Poor oral hygiene can lead to dental issues like gum disease and cavities and is linked to other serious health complications such as heart disease and diabetes. Regular dental checkups help catch issues before they escalate, ensuring your pearly whites stay dry and healthy. So, what happens during a dental checkup? Usually, your dentist will examine your teeth, gums, and mouth, looking for signs of diseases or other problems. They might also perform a professional cleaning to remove any plaque or tartar buildup. In some cases, they may take x-rays to diagnose hidden issues. Dental visits can also be an educational moment where your dentist can provide personalized advice to improve your oral hygiene. A proper oral hygiene routine involved. 1. Brushing your teeth twice a day for at least 2 minutes. 2. Flossing daily to remove food particles trapped between your teeth. 3. Using a fluoride toothpaste to strengthen your teeth and protect against cavities. 4. Limiting sugary snacks and drinks which can lead to tooth decay. 5. And of course, visiting your dentist regularly. Most experts recommend a checkup every 6 months, but your dentist may advise more or less frequent visits depending on your oral health. Remember, good oral hygiene is a major player in maintaining overall health. So, let's make that dentist appointment and smile our way to better health. Ready for the next tip? Keep watching. Change 18. Practice good posture. Importance of good posture. Tips for maintaining good posture throughout the day. We've made it to change 18, and it's all about posture. Good posture is more than standing tall for photographs, it's a key component for overall health and well-being. Maintaining good posture helps keep your bones and joints correctly aligned, ensuring muscles are used correctly. This reduces the risk of joint and muscle pain, overuse disorders, and even spinal dysfunction. Good posture can also boost your mood, productivity, and energy levels. Many of us, due to work or habits, spend a lot of time hunched over computers or looking down at our phones. This lifestyle can lead to slouching and poor posture. Here's how you can correct that. 1. When sitting, keep your feet flat on the floor. Don't cross your legs. Your ankles should be in front of your knees, and there should be a small gap between the back of your knees and the front of your seat. 2. When standing, bear your weight primarily on the balls of your feet. Keep your knees slightly bent, and your feet about shoulder width apart. 3. Whether sitting or standing, keep your shoulders squared, and pull your stomach in. Your earlobes should be in line with your shoulders. Avoid pushing your head forward, backward, or to the side. 4. Regular exercise can also help strengthen your core and maintain good posture. 5. Take regular breaks to move and stretch if you work at a desk. There are several apps available that can remind you to do this throughout the day. Maintaining good posture might feel uncomfortable initially, especially if you've been slouching for years. But with time, you'll strengthen the muscles that support good posture and it will become second nature. Keep yourself upright and keep watching for the next simple change for a healthier lifestyle. Change 19. Less screen time before bed. How screens affect sleep quality. Recommendations for reducing screen time. Alternatives to screen time before bed. We're moving on to change 19. Less screen time before bed. Our electronic devices, such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops, have become integral parts of our lives. 
They help us work, learn, and stay connected. But did you know that using these devices before bed can affect your sleep quality? Research shows that the blue light emitted by screens can interfere with your body's natural sleep-wake cycle, or circadian rhythm. This light can trick your brain into thinking it's daytime, reducing the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. Poor sleep quality doesn't just leave you feeling tired the next day. It's linked to a number of health issues, including weakened immunity, increased risk of heart disease, and even weight gain. So, it's crucial that we limit our screen time before bed. Here are some recommendations. 1. Establish a screen-free bedtime routine. That could include reading a book, taking a warm bath, or practicing meditation. 2. Try to turn off all electronic devices at least an hour before you plan to go to sleep. 3. If you must use screens, consider enabling night mode on your devices. This changes the color temperature of your screen to reduce blue light. 4. There are also glasses available that block blue light, which can be helpful if you need to use screens in the evening. Remember, improving your sleep quality can dramatically impact your overall health and well-being. Making this change may take time and discipline, but your body and mind will thank you for it. Stay tuned for the next simple change for a healthier lifestyle coming up next. Change 20. Try new physical activities. Importance of variety and physical activity. Benefits. Suggestions for fun new activities to try. Let's dive into change number 20. Try new physical activities. We often hear about the importance of regular exercise for maintaining our physical health and well-being. But did you know that adding variety to your workout routine can provide additional benefit? Sticking to the same routine can lead to workout plateau, where you stop seeing improvements because your body has adapted to the current exercise routine. Trying new physical activities can challenge your body in different ways, helping you break through this plateau. It also helps prevent boredom, keeps you engaged, and makes your fitness journey more enjoyable. There are countless activities to try out. Here are some ideas. 1. If you usually do strength training, try incorporating some cardio, like cycling, swimming, or kickboxing. 2. If you're used to running or cycling, you might want to try a yoga class to improve your flexibility and balance. 3. Try activities that can also serve as a social outlet, such as a dance class, team sports, or a hiking group. 4. If you usually work out indoors, take your workout outside. Outdoor activities like trail running, stand-up paddleboarding, or rock climbing can offer a whole new kind of challenge. 5. For something low impact, try Tai Chi, Pilates, or swimming. Remember, the goal is to enjoy the process. So, pick activities that you find fun and exciting. As always, consult your doctor before starting any new exercise regimen, especially if you have any health concerns. Stay with us as we explore the next simple change for a healthier lifestyle. Change 21, use a fitness tracker, how fitness trackers can help with health goals, how to choose a fitness tracker, tips for using them effectively. Moving on to change number 21, use a fitness tracker. In our technology-driven world, fitness trackers have emerged as popular tools to help us stay on top of our health goals. Fitness trackers can monitor various aspects of your physical activity, including steps taken, distance traveled, calories burned, and even your sleep patterns. They give you insight into your daily activities, allowing you to see where you can make improvements or adjustments. For instance, if you notice that you're not getting enough steps in, you might choose to walk to the grocery store instead of driving. So, how do you choose a fitness tracker that's right for you? Here are some things to consider. 1. Decide what you want to track. Some people might be interested in tracking their heart rate during exercise, while others might want to monitor their sleep quality. Make sure the device you choose can track what's most important to you. 2. Consider your budget. There's a wide range of fitness trackers available, from basic models that track steps and calories to high-end devices that can track your GPS location or even your blood oxygen levels. 3. Think about comfort and style. You'll be more likely to wear it consistently if it's comfortable and suits your style. Once you've chosen your device, here are some tips for using it effectively. 
1. Set realistic goals. Your fitness tracker can help you monitor your progress, but it's up to you to set achievable goals. 2. Sync your fitness tracker with an app. Many fitness trackers come with a companion app, where you can get a more detailed view of your data. 3. Consistency is key. Wear your fitness tracker daily to collect accurate data about your routine. Remember, while fitness trackers can be a great tool, they're just that, a tool. It's still up to you to make healthy choices and stay active. Let's continue our journey to a healthier lifestyle with the next change. Change 22. Try Meatless Mondays. The concept of Meatless Monday, benefits of reducing meat consumption, simple vegetarian recipes to try. Let's now shift our focus to our diet with change number 22. Try Meatless Monday. The Meatless Monday concept is simple. For one day a week, eliminate meat from your diet. This might seem small, but it's a change that can have big health and environmental benefit. Reducing meat consumption has been linked to a lower risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. It can also help with weight management, as plant-based meals are typically lower in calories and fat than meat-based ones. Moreover, opting for plant-based meals can also reduce your carbon footprint, as livestock farming is a significant contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. So how can you start implementing Meatless Monday? Here are some ideas. 1. Start with familiar dishes. Many of your favorite meals can be made vegetarian. Think spaghetti with marinara sauce, veggie stir-fry, or bean burrito. 2. Try out new recipes. There's a whole world of vegetarian cuisine waiting to be explored. Why not try a lentil curry or a chickpea salad? 3. Get creative with your protein. There are plenty of plant-based protein sources out there, like tofu, tempeh, lentils, chickpeas, and quinoa. Try incorporating these into your meals for a protein boost. Remember, the goal isn't necessarily to become a vegetarian, unless that's something you're interested in. Rather, it's about increasing your intake of plant-based foods and making more conscious choices about your diet. Now, let's move on to the next change to continue our journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Change 23, get outdoors more often, benefits of spending time in nature, suggestions for outdoor activities, how to make the most of outdoor time. Moving on to change 23, which is, get outdoors more often. Simply spending time in nature can have a profound impact on your physical and mental well-being. Research has shown that outdoor activities can help reduce stress, lower blood pressure, improve mood, boost the immune system, and improve cognitive function. The exposure to natural light also helps to regulate your sleep-wake cycle, which can lead to better sleep and more energy during the day. But how can you make the most out of your outdoor time? Here are a few suggestions. 1. Engage in physical activities. Whether it's going for a run, riding a bike, or playing a sport, outdoor physical activities can be more enjoyable and engaging than indoor ones. 2. Try mindfulness in nature. Practicing mindfulness or meditation in a natural setting can enhance its benefit. You might simply focus on the sounds of birds, the feeling of the wind, or the sight of trees swaying. 3. Have a picnic. Enjoying a meal outdoors can be a delightful experience. Pack some healthy snacks or a meal, grab a blanket, and head to your local park. Or, join a community group. There are numerous community groups that organize outdoor activities, such as hiking, bird watching, or conservation effort. This can be a great way to stay motivated and connect with like-minded individuals. The goal here isn't to overhaul your life overnight but to start spending a little more time outside each day. Even a few minutes can make a difference. So, try to take a step outside and let nature work its magic on your health and well-being. Now, let's head on to our next change. Change 24. Volunteer regularly. Mental and physical health benefits of volunteering. How to find volunteering opportunity. Change number 24 is about volunteering regularly. This may sound a bit out of the ordinary in a list of health-related changes, but volunteering has been proven to have significant benefits for both mental and physical health. Volunteering can create a sense of purpose and fulfillment, reducing feelings of loneliness and depression. It also keeps you physically active, 
especially if you're involved in activities like beach cleanups, building homes, or helping in a community garden. What's more, it brings you into contact with a community of people, helping you develop new skills and relationships. So, where can you find volunteering opportunities? Here are some suggestions. 1. Local community centers or nonprofit organizations. These often have various volunteer programs that you can join, depending on your interest. 2. Online platforms, websites like Volunteer Match or Idealist connect individuals with volunteer opportunities in various fields and locations. 3. Schools or colleges, many educational institutions have volunteer programs that you can participate in, whether you're a student or not. 4. Corporate volunteering, if you're employed, check if your company has a corporate social responsibility program that includes volunteering. 5. Create your own. If you're passionate about a specific cause, consider starting your own initiative. This could be anything from a neighborhood cleanup to a fundraising event for a charity. Remember, the key here is to find something that you're passionate about. The more invested you are in the cause, the more rewarding your volunteering experience will be. Next, we're going to talk about an important concept in fitness, functional fitness. Let's move on to change 25. Change 25, try functional fitness, explain the concept of functional fitness, its benefits, examples of functional exercises, and how to incorporate it into your routine. Moving on to our 25th change, let's focus on functional fitness. This is an exercise philosophy that trains your muscles to work together, improving your ability to perform everyday activities or occupational tasks safely and efficiently. Functional fitness exercises are designed to stimulate common movements you might do at home, at work, or in sport. The idea is to use various muscles in the upper and lower body at the same time, focusing on core stability. So, why is functional fitness beneficial? Here are a few reasons. 1. Increased muscle memory. By mimicking everyday life activity, these exercises teach your muscles how to work together seamlessly. 2. Greater balance and stability. Functional fitness can help improve balance and coordination, making you less prone to falls and other accidents. 3. Better joint health. These exercises work to strengthen muscles around key joints, decreasing the risk of injury. 4. Improved posture and muscle tone. Lastly, functional fitness exercises can help improve your posture and muscle tone, leading to better overall physical appearance. Now, let's look at some examples of functional fitness exercises. 1. Squats. Mimic the motion of sitting down and standing up. It's perfect for strengthening your legs and core. 2. Lunges. Great for working your hips, glutes, quads, hamstrings, and core. 3. Push-ups. An excellent way to strengthen your upper body and core at the same time. 4. Pull-ups, another excellent upper body exercise that also involves the core. 5. Deadlifts, this weightlifting exercise works your legs while also engaging your core and lower back. Incorporating functional fitness into your routine can be as simple as adding a few of these exercises into your regular workout, or you could try a dedicated functional fitness class at your local gym or online. Remember, always pay attention to form to prevent injuries. So, ready to step up your fitness game with functional fitness? Give it a try, and you'll see a difference in your overall strength and stability. Stay tuned as next, we'll learn to meal prep. Change 26. Learn to meal prep. Benefits of meal prepping, simple meal prep ideas, and tips for meal prepping effectively. Moving forward to change number 26, learning to meal prep. This isn't just a trend, it's a practical and effective strategy to maintain a healthy diet, especially when you're short on time. Let's discuss why meal prepping is worth your time. 1. Control over ingredients. When you prepare your meals in advance, you know exactly what's going into your food, making it easier to manage dietary needs or restrictions. 2. Saves time. By dedicating a few hours one day a week, you save much more time throughout the week. No more scrambling to put meals together last minute or settling for takeout. 3. Reduces stress. Knowing your meals are ready to go for the week can significantly reduce mealtime stress. 4. 
helps with portion control. Pre-portioned meals help prevent overeating and support weight management. 5. Saves money by planning your meals. You're likely to save money by avoiding impulse purchases and eating out less frequently. Now, here are some simple meal prep ideas to get you started. 1. Batch cook grains. Foods like rice, quinoa, or pasta can be cooked in large quantities and used throughout the week in different dishes. 2. Prep proteins. Cook a few different proteins, such as chicken, tofu, or beans, to use in various meals. 3. Chop veggies. Having veggies already washed, chopped, and ready to go makes it much easier to include them in your meals. 4. Prepare snacks. Portion out nuts, fruits, or yogurt in small containers or baggies for easy grab and go snacks. 5. Make breakfast easy. Overnight oats or egg muffins can be made ahead for quick breakfast. Remember, meal prepping doesn't have to be complicated. Even prepping just one meal a day, like breakfast or lunch, can make a big difference. And now, for some handy meal prep tip. 1. Start small. If you're new to meal prepping, start with just one or two meals to prevent feeling overwhelmed. 2. Invest in good containers. Having a variety of sizes and types of containers can make meal prep much easier. 3. Use recipes you know. Try starting with recipes you're already familiar with and enjoy eating. 4. Plan. Write down your menu for the week, make a grocery list, and stick to it. This will help avoid food waste and make sure you have everything you need. So, are you ready to save time, stress less, and maintain a healthier diet? Give meal prep a try, and let's get cooking. Up next, we'll discuss the importance of wearing sunscreen daily. Stay tuned. Change 27, wear sunscreen daily, importance of skin protection, how to choose a sunscreen, common sunscreen myths debunk. Change number 27 is all about protecting our skin, wear sunscreen daily. It might seem like a minor detail, but wearing sunscreen every day is one of the most effective ways to protect our skin from damage, premature aging, and even cancer. First, let's uncover why it's so essential to wear sunscreen daily. 1. Protects from harmful UV rays, the ozone layer is depleting making it necessary to protect our skin from harmful rays that can cause skin conditions, like cancer. 2. Prevents premature aging. Sunscreen blocks the harmful rays that cause skin aging and wrinkles, ensuring your skin remains healthier and more vibrant. 3. Lowers skin cancer risks. Regular use of sunscreen significantly decreases your risk of developing skin cancers, especially melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. 4. Prevents sunburn. Sunburn weakens your skin, subjecting it more to bruises. Your skin may suffer repeated attacks of peeling, swelling, redness, hives, and itching due to sunburn. So, how do you choose the right sunscreen? 1. Broad Spectrum. Choose a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects against both UVA and UVB rays. 2. SPF. Pick a sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30. This blocks about 97% of UVB rays. 3. Water resistance. If you'll be swimming or sweating, a water-resistant sunscreen is a must. 4. Skin type. People with sensitive skin should look for sunscreens free of fragrances and harsh chemicals. And now, let's debunk some common sunscreen myths. 1. Myth. I don't need sunscreen on a cloudy day. Fact, up to 80% of the sun's UV rays can penetrate clouds. Always wear sunscreen, no matter the weather. 2. Myth. I have dark skin, so I don't need sunscreen. Fact. While darker skin has more melanin, it can still burn and is still susceptible to skin cancer and premature aging. 3. Myth. Sunscreen is all I need for outdoor protection. Fact. While crucial, sunscreen is just one part of a full sun protection regimen. Also consider wearing protective clothing, sunglasses, and a wide-brimmed hat and seek shade during peak sun hours. There's no better day than today to make sunscreen a non-negotiable part of your daily routine. Your skin will thank you. Our next change will be taking care of mental health. 
so, don't go anywhere. Change 28. Take care of your mental health. The link between mental and physical health. Simple self-care practices. When and how to seek professional help. Change number 28 emphasizes the crucial role mental health plays in our overall well-being. Take care of your mental health. When we talk about living a healthier lifestyle, we often focus on the physical, nutrition, exercise, sleep. But our mental health is just as important, if not more so, in contributing to our overall well-being. The link between mental and physical health is undeniable. Our mental state can impact our physical health in significant ways. Chronic stress, depression, or anxiety can increase the risk of physical ailments like heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. On the other hand, chronic physical conditions can also lead to mental distress. With that said, what are some simple self-care practices we can all adopt? 1. Practice mindfulness. Whether through meditation or simply being present in the moment, mindfulness helps to reduce stress and increase mental clarity. 2. Exercise regularly. Physical activity releases endorphins, natural mood lifters, also known as feel-good hormones. 3. Stay connected, spend quality time with loved ones. Good relationships with friends and family are essential for mental well-being. 4. Practice good sleep hygiene, poor sleep can lead to mental health issues like anxiety and depression. Make sure to prioritize quality sleep. 5. Eat a healthy diet. Proper nutrition is crucial for brain function. Certain deficiencies, like vitamin B12 and iron, can impact mood and energy levels. Knowing when and how to seek professional help is equally important. If you're feeling persistently sad, anxious, or notice drastic changes in your mood, appetite, or sleep patterns, it may be time to seek help. Mental health professionals, such as psychologists, psychiatrists, and therapists, can provide you with the help you need, whether that's therapy, medication, or just someone to talk to. Mental health is not a destination, no journey. It's about how you drive, not where you're going. The same goes for the next change on our list, incorporate omega-3 fatty acids in your diet. So, stick around for more. Change 29. Incorporate omega-3 fatty acids in your diet. Health benefits of omega-3s food sources of omega-3s, recommended intake. Moving forward, change number 29 focuses on a specific nutrient that's vital for our health. Incorporate omega-3 fatty acids in your diet. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fats that our bodies need but can't produce on their own. That means we have to get them through the foods we eat. Let's explore the health benefits of omega-3s. Omega-3 fatty acids are known for their anti-inflammatory properties and their role in heart health. They help to lower blood pressure, reduce the risk of heart disease, and promote healthier brain function. They also play a crucial role in cognitive development in infants and children, and they help support mental health and mood. Now, where can we get these omega-3s? Here are some excellent food sources. 1. Fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, Tuna, and sardines are rich in omega-3s. 2. Seeds and nuts. Foods like chia seeds, flax seeds, walnuts, and hemp seeds are good plant-based sources of omega-3s. 3. Algal oil. This is derived from algae and is an excellent source of omega-3s for vegetarians and vegans. As for the recommended intake, the American Heart Association suggests eating fatty fish at least twice a week. If you're considering omega-3 supplements, please consult with a healthcare professional to find the right dose for you. Remember, a small change, like incorporating more omega-3s into your diet, can make a significant difference over time. Up next, we'll be discussing the importance of cutting down on caffeine. So stay with us. Change 30, cut down on caffeine, effects of caffeine on the body, tips to reduce caffeine intake, alternatives to caffeine. As we're hitting the 30th mark in our journey of simple lifestyle changes, let's discuss something many of us might be a bit too familiar with, caffeine. Our change number 30 is cut down on caffeine. Let's be clear, caffeine isn't entirely bad. In moderate amounts, it can enhance physical performance, improve focus, and even ward off certain types of diseases. 
However, consuming too much caffeine can have detrimental effect. It can cause nervousness, restlessness, insomnia, and rapid heartbeat. In some cases, it can also lead to digestive problems and elevated blood pressure. How do you go about reducing your caffeine intake? Here are some helpful tips. 1. Gradual reduction. Don't go cold turkey. It can lead to caffeine withdrawal symptoms. Try to cut back gradually. 2. Opt for smaller sizes. If you love your daily coffee, try downsizing your cup. Smaller portions mean less caffeine. 3. Go decaf. Choose decaffeinated versions of your favorite beverages. They have considerably less caffeine. 4. Read labels. Many foods and drinks, like chocolate and some medications, contain caffeine. Always check the labels. 5. Looking for alternatives to caffeinated beverages? Herbal tea, green tea, and caffeine-free versions of your favorite drinks can be good options. Also, never underestimate the power of a good old glass of water for hydration and alertness. As we move forward in our journey towards healthier living, remember, it's not about drastic changes but small steps in the right direction. Stay tuned as we continue with more simple yet effective changes you can make. Up next, we'll explore the importance of taking care of your gut health. Stick around. Change 31. Take care of your gut health. Importance of gut health. Foods for a healthy gut. Lifestyle habits that support gut health. Welcome back, Brain Booster. As we continue our journey towards a healthier lifestyle, we're moving on to change number 31. Take care of your gut health. Your gut, also known as your digestive system, is more than just a food processing machine. A healthy gut is crucial for your overall well-being. It plays a critical role in your immune system, mood regulation, and even heart health. It's a complex system that houses trillions of bacteria, known as the gut microbiome, which have a profound impact on our health. So, what can you do to maintain a healthy gut? Here are some key steps. 1. Eat a diverse range of foods. This promotes a diverse gut microbiota, which is beneficial for gut health. Include plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains in your diet. 2. Include probiotic and prebiotic foods. Probiotics are good bacteria that can enhance gut health. You can find them in fermented foods like yogurt, sauerkraut, and kimchi. Prebiotics, on the other hand, nourish these good bacteria. Foods rich in fiber serve as excellent prebiotic. 3. Stay hydrated. Water is beneficial for the mucosal lining of the intestines, which helps promote a healthy gut. 4. Avoid consuming too many artificial sweeteners. Some studies suggest that they can negatively affect gut bacteria. Apart from diet, lifestyle habits also play a role in gut health. Regular exercise, sufficient sleep, and stress management techniques can all contribute to a healthier gut. Remember, taking care of your gut is a key component in leading a healthy lifestyle. Stay tuned as we continue our journey with more tips for maintaining good health. Next, we'll discuss the benefits of keeping your brain active. Don't miss it. Change 32, keep your brain active, ways to stimulate your brain, benefits of mental exercise, brain boosting activities. We're on to change number 32, keeping your brain active. Just as your body needs physical exercise to stay fit, your brain requires mental exercise to maintain its health and vitality. Engaging in activities that stimulate your brain can enhance cognitive function, improve memory, and even reduce the risk of developing neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. Here are some ways to stimulate your brain. 1. Learn something new. This could be a new language, a musical instrument, or any other skill you've always wanted to acquire. Learning keeps your brain engaged and promotes the formation of new neural pathways. 2. Read regularly. Reading not only provides knowledge, but it also stimulates various parts of the brain involved in language and vision. 3. Engage in puzzles and brain games. Sudoku, crosswords, or brain training apps can enhance problem-solving abilities, attention span, and memory. 4. Practice mindfulness and meditation. These techniques can enhance focus and cognitive flexibility. 
they can also reduce stress, which is beneficial for brain health. Remember, it's never too late to start exercising your brain. Keep it challenged and engaged, and you'll be rewarded with better brain health in the long run. As we continue to explore more changes for a healthier lifestyle, our next topic is about the importance of being mindful of your salt intake. Make sure you stick around. You won't want to miss it. Change 33. Be mindful of your salt intake. Effects of excessive salt intake. Daily recommended intake. How to reduce salt consumption. We're delving into change number 33. Being mindful of your salt intake. While salt is essential for bodily functions like nerve transmission and muscle contraction, too much of it can have serious health implications. Excessive sodium intake can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, and even kidney damage. So, how much is too much? According to the American Heart Association, the recommended daily intake is no more than 2,300 mg, which is roughly 1 teaspoon. But an ideal limit is even less, at 1,500 mg for most adults. Here are some simple strategies to reduce salt consumption. 1. Cook at home, you can control the amount of salt you add to your meals. 2. Read food labels, many processed foods contain high levels of sodium. 3. Opt for fresh over processed, fresh fruits and vegetables naturally contain less sodium than canned or processed varieties. 4. Use herbs and spices, enhance the flavor of your meals with spices, herbs, or salt-free seasoning blends instead of relying on salt. 5. Reducing your salt intake can take time and effort, but your heart and health are worth it. In the next segment, we're going to discuss the importance of avoiding added sugars. Stay tuned, as this change is sweeter than you might think. Change 34, cut down on sugar, health risks of excessive sugar, hidden sources of sugar, how to reduce sugar intake. This time it's all about reducing sugar in our diets. This is change number 34, cutting down on sugar. Most of us are aware that consuming excessive sugar can lead to a myriad of health problems such as weight gain, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. Yet, sugar can sneak into our diets in ways we least expect it. You'll find it not just in candy, cakes, and soda, but also in foods like bread, pasta sauce, and even salad dressing. Reducing your sugar intake is a crucial step towards a healthier lifestyle. So, how can you do this? 1. Start by reading food labels, look for ingredients like fructose, glucose, maltose, or anything ending in orse, these are all forms of sugar. 2. Opt for whole fruits over fruit juices, which often contain added sugars. 3. Replace sugar in recipes with spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, or vanilla extract. 4. Gradually reduce the sugar you add to your coffee or tea, eventually aiming for none at all. We know this can seem challenging at first, but remember, every small step contributes to a bigger change. Join us in the next segment, where we'll look at the benefits of intermittent fasting. We promise it will be worth waking up for. Change 35. Try intermittent fasting. The concept of intermittent fasting, potential benefits and risks, tips for successful intermittent fasting. For our 35th change, we're exploring a dietary approach that has garnered a lot of attention in recent years. Let's delve into the fascinating world of intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting isn't so much about what you eat, but when you eat. This approach involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting, with popular methods including the 16 8 method, the 5 halves diet, and the eat stop eat approach. The potential benefits of intermittent fasting can be quite compelling. It's been associated with weight loss, improved metabolic health, and even a lower risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. However, it's not suitable for everyone and it's always important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting. If you're thinking about giving it a try, here are some tips to make your journey smoother. 1. 
start slow. Begin with shorter fasting periods and gradually increase them over time. 2. Stay hydrated during your fasting period. Water, tea, and black coffee are all good choices. 3. Make sure you're getting enough nutrients in your eating windows. It's not just about when you eat, but also what you eat. So, could intermittent fasting be the change you need in your routine? Remember, what matters most is finding a healthy eating approach that you can maintain long term. Stay tuned for our next segment, where we'll discuss the importance of regular eye checks. Don't miss it. Change 36. Get regular eye checks. Importance of regular eye checks. What to expect during an eye exam. How to protect your eyesight. Our 36th lifestyle change is something many of us may overlook dash regular eye checks. Good vision plays a vital role in our day-to-day -day lives, yet we often neglect to look after our eyes. Regular eye checks are critical to detect issues early and prevent vision loss. They can even spot signs of other health problems, such as diabetes and high blood pressure. So, what should you expect during an eye exam? Your optometrist will likely perform a series of tests, including vision tests to see if you need glasses or contact lenses, and examinations of your eyes interior and exterior for signs of disease. Here are a few tips on how to safeguard your eyesight. 1. Follow the 20-20-20 rule when using digital devices. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for at least 20 seconds. 2. Wear sunglasses that block out 99 to 100 percent of UVA and UVB radiation. 3. Maintain a healthy diet, rich in fruits and vegetables, particularly those high in vitamin A and C. Don't wait until your vision becomes blurry or you experience other symptoms. Schedule regular eye checks to keep your eyes in tip-top shape. Up next, we will learn about the importance of body awareness. You won't want to miss out on learning about this stress-busting technique. Change 37, listen to your body, importance of body awareness for health, signs that you should pay attention to, how to tune into your body's signals. We are diving into our 37th change, listening to your body. Have you ever wondered how your body communicates with you? Listening to your body's cues is an essential aspect of maintaining overall health. Pain, fatigue, hunger, and even emotional responses are all signals that our bodies use to inform us of our needs and potential issues. Here's how you can tune into your body. 1. Notice your hunger and fullness cues. Don't wait until you're famished to eat, and likewise, Stop eating when you're comfortably full. 2. Pay attention to how your body feels during and after physical activity. Does it energize you or leave you feeling exhausted? Adjust your routine accordingly. 3. Be aware of your emotional responses. Are you eating, sleeping, or acting out of emotional stress or anxiety? Remember, persistent or unusual symptoms are your body's way of saying that something's wrong. Don't ignore these signs. If you're feeling unwell or if something feels off, it's always best to consult a healthcare professional. In the next segment, we'll be talking about the importance of including fermented foods in your diet for our well-being. Stick around. This next one is a game changer. Change 38. Include fermented foods in your diet. Health benefits of fermented foods. Examples of fermented foods. How to incorporate them into your diet. Now we are focusing on change number 38. Including fermented foods in your diet. Fermented foods are not just delicious. They're a goldmine of health benefits. They're rich in probiotics, beneficial bacteria that boost your gut health, support your immune system, and may even enhance your mood. Examples of fermented foods include yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, kefir, kombucha, and tempeh. Now, how can you make these a part of your daily diet? 1. Start your day with a probiotic-rich yogurt. Add a drizzle of honey and some fresh fruits, and you have a tasty and healthy breakfast. 
2. For lunch, try adding a side of sauerkraut or kimchi to your plate. Not only does this add a burst of flavor, but it also supports your digestion. 3. If you enjoy baking, try making your own sourdough bread using a starter. It's a fun project and the end result is delicious. As always, remember that while fermented foods are beneficial, they should be part of a balanced diet. Stay tuned for our next segment where we explore the importance of choosing whole grains over refined grains. It's a touching subject, you don't want to miss it. Change 39, choose whole grains over refined grains, health benefits of whole grains, differences between whole and refined grains, tips for choosing whole grain foods. We're diving into change number 39, choosing whole grains over refined grains. Whole grains are grains in their complete form, containing all parts of the grain, the bran, germ, and endosperm. On the other hand, refined grains have been processed to remove the bran and germ, which unfortunately also removes important nutrients. So, what's so great about whole grains? Well, they're packed with fiber, protein, and essential nutrients like B vitamins and iron. Studies show that they can help reduce the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. But how do we make the switch to whole grains? Here are some easy tips. 1. Look for the words whole grain on packaging. Watch out for terms like multigrain or 100% wheat, they can be misleading and don't necessarily mean the product is made from whole grains. 2. Replace your regular pasta with whole grain pasta. It tastes just as delicious and is way more nutritious. 3. Experiment with new grains like quinoa or brown rice. They can be used in a variety of dishes, from stir-fries to salads, offering an extra nutritional punch. In our next segment, we'll tackle the benefits of deep breathing. Don't miss it, we've got some handy tips to share with you. Change 40. Practice deep breathing exercises, benefits of deep breathing, simple deep breathing exercises, best times to practice deep breathing. Let's focus on change number 40, practicing deep breathing exercises. Deep breathing has a surprisingly profound effect on our, our overall health. It's more than just filling your lungs with air. It's a practice that involves your entire body, can lower stress levels, promote relaxation, and improve your mental and physical well-being. So, what makes deep breathing so beneficial? When you breathe deeply, you're sending a message to your brain to relax. This, in turn, slows your heart rate, reduces blood pressure, and helps you feel more peaceful and less anxious. Now, how can you incorporate deep breathing into your daily routine? Here are some simple steps. 1. Find a quiet place where you can sit or lie comfortably. 2. Close your eyes and take a slow, deep breath in through your nose, filling your lungs as fully as possible. 3. Hold your breath for a moment, then exhale slowly through your mouth. Try to make your exhale longer than your inhale. 4. Repeat this process for a few minutes, focusing your attention on your breath. As for the best times to practice deep breathing, try it first thing in the morning to start your day off on a positive note, during a break at work to relieve stress, or right before bed to encourage better sleep. Up next, we'll look into prioritizing personal time and whether making the switch could be another simple change for a healthier lifestyle. Stay tuned, we've got plenty of insight to share with you. And there you have it, Brain Boosters. Today, we've gone through another substantial set of lifestyle changes in our series. Top 50 Simple Changes for a Healthier Lifestyle From prioritizing home-cooked meals and maintaining good pasture To practicing deep breathing exercises and keeping our brain active We've covered a lot of ground Remember, it's not about implementing all these changes overnight. Instead, it's about gradually integrating them into your life and making them part of your daily routine. Change doesn't have to be drastic or immediate to be effective. In fact, 
it's the small, consistent changes that often yield the most impactful results. We hope these changes will serve as a guide as you continue to strive for better health and overall well-being. Remember to celebrate every step you take towards a healthier lifestyle, no matter how small it may seem. Your body and mind will thank you. Stay tuned for the third and final part of this series, where we'll continue to explore the remaining 10 simple but powerful changes to embrace for a healthier lifestyle. Make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you don't miss out. We'd love to hear which changes you've found the most interesting or beneficial so far. Please drop us a comment below. And, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with others. Here's to a healthier you. Stay tuned for more health boosting content. See you in our next video.